Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna take a tour of all of my tanks. So right now, you are upstairs in my workshop. Welcome to the upstairs. So come on, take a look. I've got two tanks in here, none of them, either of them, hold fish. This is my desk, and I've got my indoor water garden here, blending in with my little, little terrariums and whatnot, and he's doing great. It's been about five weeks. I let him go extra long before I updated you guys, and, and he's doing great. All I do is top it off every so often, and it's uh, fun. He works in with my, my gardening and miniatures that I'm obsessed with. And then we've got my tree set up here. Always have to have a tree, and it's uh, the theme is sparkly balls. There you go. And here's my work table. This is where I make a lot of messes and a lot of my miniature stuff. And here's my little tiny tank. Come on, Mr. Cameraman. Here's my little tiny tank. He's fun. I scape him. I just changed the rocks. That's really all I did. And I put, um, it's really cute. You can see the, the tiny, what would you call that? Like fungus or mold or? Yeah, it's really cute. Tiny fungus. Yeah, but totally it's, normal. <laughs> but it's cute on a tiny little tank. And then he's got a little miniature print above there for Christmas. Here you go. Now we're gonna go downstairs. In the kitchen. This is the most recent tank that I escaped. It's the English garden tank that I call it. And the plants are doing very well. And we did have a an ick breakout, which we are treating. We do have a video on that. We also have a video on the when I set this tank up and the ones upstairs if you want to check it out in the description box below now the like i said the plants are doing great i had very little uh, cleanup to do so far and i did I, I escaped it so that it would go with the kind of the decor that i have in the kitchen which is christmas so i did do something kind of different for the backdrop i wanted it kind of like woodsy so i put christmas trees behind it that are very heavily glittered wonderful and I moved the backdrop off of the back of the tank and I moved it behind the trees. So it's kind of nice at night. It really picks up a lot of the glitter in the back and makes it all very magical. And actually Jason said that he liked it a lot. I was shocked. And there you see, oh, look at that. There he is. Now, I asked everybody for suggestions for a name for him and I got so many great names. Let's see. So my favorites that I can remember, Fancy Pants, Mr. Fancy Pants, uh, Sunshine, Sunflower, and oh gosh, so many I, I can't even think of. Now I've been kind of referring to him as Ruffles, just because he's very ruffly, so I call him Ruffles, but I really do like the name Mr. Brambles because it cracks me up, and I think he answers to it, so I kind of call him Mr. Ruffles Brambles. And there you go. I'm I'm really enjoying the tank. It's it's really a fun tank to watch. And uh, ironically enough, the one part of the the uh, rock wall that I did, the one part that I did not silicone, keeps falling down, which is literally a crumbling rock wall, which really cracks me up. And then this this left side, that's working out well too because I actually purposely hinged it. I made it in two interlocking pieces, and when I kind of do a little cleanup back here, I had to meet, like move the, the views a little bit. It worked out really well to, to kind of move it around and, and do a little landscaping, shall we say. Here we are in the basement, and this is my little nook. Welcome to my nano wall. So let's take a look at what I have. You'll see a lot of empty tanks, not done yet. We've got a 12 gallon long. We've got a couple of six gallon bookcase, bookshelf. I think they're called bookshelf tanks. Except they're three and a half gallons. These? Yes. Why well, didn't say how big they were. This well, one's a, six. No, 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 this one's a 12 gallon long. Okay. Uh, um, so I've got a lot of empty tanks. I've got a fun one down here. We might be doing soon and then a lot of aquascaping supplies that I like to keep kind of neat, otherwise it gets very messy very quick. A lot of uh, more su aquascaping supplies ready to go. Now let's take a look at the tanks we do have. My pea puffer tank. There's Eenie and Meenie. They should be coming out here. And I do have a small Pleco. 
Like I've said before in a lot of my tanks, I have, I'm kind of like a foster mom for plecos. So they uh, come into my tank when they're small and then when they get to a certain size, then off they go to their forever home. And as you can see, my, my Anubias flowered, which I don't know, I, I kind of find it a little creepy, but kind of fun. I suppose. It's like Invasion of the Body Snatchers. It is like Invasion of the Body Snatchers. It's going to be another yes. year laying on the fish room floor tomorrow. Oh, that would be weird. Be scary. Or another pea puffer. That would be okay. <laughs> All right, now let's let's switch here. My cameraman, get him in there. All right, this is one of my beta tanks. This is Indigo Indy, and I just have Anubius and Krypton here, and that the. I can, I can never remember the name of the pink plant, but it really likes to float. So I had it floating in one of Jason's tanks and I said, you know what? Why have it floating in his tank when I can have it floating in mine? So Indigo really really seems to like kind of swimming around it and stuff. So I've, I've actually just left it there. It looks kind of pretty. All right, now we go down a couple levels. This is the Mahachai tank. We've got teal and blue. They, uh, <clears throat> when I did a water change earlier, they got a they got a little upset, so they're kind of hiding right now. Uh, it's not dinner dinner time yet, so. Well, at least you can see the cool scape. Yeah, well, I don't know if necessarily I would call it a cool scape. I would call it kind of a natural, basic scape. At least you can see your natural basic scape. But the fun here, here's a little fun fact for you. Here. Can you take a look at this rock? I was so excited oh, wow, when I found that. that rock. It looks like a little face, two eyes and a very small mouth. So I, I gave him center stage. Oh, kind of cool, huh? And then for my final tank here is my pumpkin shrimp tank. This was really fun to make. Although I have to say, this has got one of the hardest spots to see in the nano wall because of this stupid dehumidifier that's cramping my style here. So I kind of put the scape on an angle so I could see it a little bit better, but hopefully you can see some of the little pumpkin, pumpkin shrimpers hopping around there. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing all my tanks. Check out all the videos that we have. We'll, we'll link them all down below of all the, uh, when we came up with all these tanks, if you want to see any more information. And uh, stay tuned to the channel, especially Mondays when I'm here, because I've got, as you can see, some more tanks coming up, some more fun things uh, that I'd like to surprise you guys with. And uh, thanks for watching and have a good day.